Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, today I'm coming with a what's in my bag, but an update first, okay? So before I jump into the contents of this video, let me share some things with you. You know that shea butter that I always show you guys in my little small container? This is actually what the container looks like. The young lady makes it. She actually lives in Kansas. Her business is called Essence 33. And y'all, this stuff smells amazing. Look how much I've used. Y'all know I was out for a while and having a panic attack. She finally made some more. And look, I have really been using it. And I've only had it for about a week or so. I use it at night when I get out of the tub and shower. I will put it on my feet, knees, elbows. And I always use it on my cuticles and whatnot. Um, I don't use it on like my body parts. I like to use my bath and body lotions on my arms and my legs. And that way, you know, I'm using all of my products. This is a little greasy, I want to say. And so I don't like getting in the bed with, um, with it being greasy. But I love it for my cuticles. Okay, y'all. Sorry, my phone is ringing. Also, I shared with you on my community post that this baby was going to have to sit while I do this 30 day challenge and I'm okay with that. This is that Coach Logan that just came out and I think the color is called Kenya. Let me see. Crayon. Crayon because it's a C-R-A. So I'm excited about this. I did purchase this wristlet to go with it and I'm excited about it. Y'all this bag feels amazing. It's that pebble grain leather. It is so soft. I love the fact that it's an East West toast tote too because you know that's me all day long east west um with this purchase i did purchase the slides however the matching slides they came in um they're too big so i'm gonna have to take them back and my store didn't even have these but i'm gonna have to take them back to get a refund and then order the right size so I just wanted to show you guys that and then i also purchased these slides, which I love, they remind me of the Louis Vuitton um, Palm Dias. I think that's the name of them. But y'all, these are so cute. And they're comfortable. I love them. That's me 77. Um, has them in the black. I think it's called the granite. Y'all, super, co super comfortable. So, I got those two. So, now let's do the update. So, you guys know that I shared on my community post that I was going to do a 30-day challenge with my girl, Dazzle77. And I was staying in the bag for 30 days. And all we could do is change our accessories. So, y'all, I posted the pack picture and I put it here to the side of the bag that I was going to use. It was brand new. It was a bag I had purchased from Dooney. It's the large Zip Barlow. Love, love, love the bag. When I moved into the bag, y'all, I had a lot of space, but I was going to just try to work with it because y'all know I've downsized my carry. Y'all know I talk about it on my channel all the time about how I'm not carrying large totes anymore. And that's why I've been purchasing smaller size totes and bags. But y'all, I try to carry it. And by day two, when I would open that middle section, my pouches would be laying over. And I look, girl, what you doing laying over? I stood you up. Y'all know I like my lines. That was tearing my nerves up. So I said, no, this is not going to work. So I was talking to Dazzle Me 77. And she said, take all your things out of that bag and put it into your um, small barlow. I hadn't carried the small barlow either. But I took the stuff out. Literally, I just lifted it up, put it in the, you know, in the places it would go in the small barlow. And it was a perfect carry. I'm going to insert a picture so you can see the difference in the size between the large zip barlow and the small barlow. Y'all see that beautiful chestnut brown. So guys, I moved into that bag and I, it was beautiful. My setup was beautiful. I was happy as I could be. I went out with my husband. We went back to three stores and we went and got something to eat. And y'all, by the time I got home, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. That bag has weight to it. And so, I'm not going to be able to carry that bag for 30 days with the weight. That's a bag that I could carry for maybe a week, maybe a few days. But then, not definitely not 30 days and definitely not traveling. Um, flying in the airport and going places with it. The weight, I just could not do it. So, I got with my girl again. I said, oh, no, 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 no. Cannot do this small Barlow. Keep 
keeping the small Barlow. But I can't carry it for 30 days. I ended up sending the large zip Barlow back. I sent that back to Dooney. My small Barlow I am keeping. I just can't do it for the 30 day challenge. Which brings us to this beauty right here. This is another new bag that I had back there that I have not carried. And you know that's my goal y'all. I'm trying to carry everything I haven't carried. And utilize my bags. Just carry them. So I pulled out this baby right here. And I think she'll be a good carry for 30 days. Because she's lightweight. She has all of the colors that I wear during the summertime, spring sometime. And it'll be a perfect carry even when I travel. It's just going to work. So this is the bag for the 30 day challenge. And to be fair, I started over. So my challenge started yesterday because I moved in last night. And we're going to go 30 days in this bag. I think my sister, Dazzle Me 77, is probably two and a half weeks in, if not close to the end of her third week and so her challenge will end before mine and that's okay I just want to see can I do it that's what I want to do I want to challenge myself I love a challenge and this is going to be a challenge but I'm excited about it <clears throat> um so I started out well let me tell you about the bag y'all know I'm still in my favorite airpod case I can't help it I love this case y'all know I have this one I have a purple one and I have a red one. They're all made like this with these vibrant colors in them. And ever since I got them, these are the only AirPod cases I've been using. I haven't used another AirPod case and I have tons of them back there. I just love it so I just stay in it. I'm using this wristlet that I've shared before a lot of times on my page. It has that butterfly. You can purchase all these items on Amazon. And, you know, the clear wristlet here. And I thought the butterfly was perfect because I am using a butterfly charm. So, let's meet this beauty right here. Y'all, this is a Dooney and Burt DB75 drawstring. Now, this bag right now today, which is July 13th, is on the Dooney site for $2.98, I believe. And I went to ILD, I love Dooney, and it's on sale for $1.29 with the code SALE. However, I got this bag when it was on sale. DB on D A. What's her name? Dooney added six one five. Was sharing all of the sales that was going on, and I got this bag for seventy five dollars, I believe, during that sale. So I haven't carried it. It's my first time moving in it, and I'm super excited about it. Y'all see all those colors? That's why. I'm pretty sure I won't have a problem carrying this bag for thirty days because of all the different colors. I'm starting out with hot pink, as you can tell. Because I have this charm. I've shared it before on my channel. This is a separate charm that my son and his wife gave me. I think for Christmas. And I added it to this charm. And took out some links to make it shorter. And that is how I created the double butterfly. But this drawstring has a detachable strap. Which I don't know why you would detach it. Unless you just wanted to put a different color strap on here. But it's wide. Super, super comfortable. I've already tried it out. It is wonderful. The drop on it is 12 inches, so it does pass the elbow test for me. And the measurements of this bag is 10 inches high. So it's 10 inches this way. And it's 10 inches this way, so like a square. So the length is 10, the height is 10, and the butt is 7. Now, let's stop right there. That's surprising to me. I didn't think that I could carry a butt, a width in a bag that's 7 inches. I always thought it was too big for me. So, that just goes to tell you it depends on the size of the bag. If it's a larger bag with 7 inch butt, it's too large. But if it's a smaller size bag, it works perfect. So, what I've done is I wrote down the size of this bag. And I'll show you. Y'all see that right there? I wrote that size down. And I'm keeping up with the sizes of the bags that I enjoy. So when I see these sales and they come out, I can go straight to the measurements and see if that bag is going to work for me. Because again, y'all know I'm in the country. I don't live near any stores that have these bags, especially Dooney Bird. I don't have anything. Um, some of the belts have some Dooney and Bark items, but not a lot. The closest outlet would be St. Augustine. I think that's down in Florida. Um, area of Georgia almost into Florida but that's the closest outlet for me so this beauty right here is made out of polyvine vinyl coated cotton I believe is what they call it and so here is a side view I love how it has this 
black leather going down and you see how it has the stitching I love that pop of color this is the back here is the other side and it does have feet with leather strips so I love that it does have a trim around the base of the bag I also love that so this is a bag that you could carry in rain snow sleet sun whatever it's just a nice carry super duper light okay the hardware on it is gold can y'all see that you know Dooney is has very good quality hardware and you can see that the tie going through the holes the grommets are gold the leather tie and then you see the holder here this one is not loose there is a Dooney DB75 drawstring I think it's called the Tasha and the difference between that one is it's an inch taller and it has tassels here instead of having the solid piece there are tassels here same measurements just an inch taller okay so let's jump in okay. so you have this drawstring opening here that I'm just gonna slide down I want you to pay attention to the opening of the bag so one thing I don't like is a tight opening it's, it, I just don't like them. I like a wide opening because typically when I look in the bag, I want to see my items. And there you can see everything. You see that? This bag has a slip pocket here. Instead of a zipper pocket, it has a slip pocket here and another slip pocket here. So you have two slip pockets there. And then on this side, you have that big pocket and that small pocket. And that's the organization on the inside. Okay, so... Let's start here, I guess. So, in this first pocket right here, I have my Kleenex. I share this all the time. I get them from Target. I like this because they're thin. You know, the other packs are kind of about a, like an inch thick. I like the thin pack. And they have the same kind of tissue in them. This has 10 tissues in it. The thick pack does too. Okay? Also in there, I have my fan. Y'all. I live in South Kakalaki, okay? It's hot down here, y'all. It's hot. It is 90 and 91 degrees. Y'all, add that humidity. I promise you'll feel like 120. It is so hot. I believe our summer is going to be terrible, terrible. Because we really didn't have a winter, y'all. Y'all need to watch. I'm telling you, these seasons are crazy. But this summer, listen... I have this one in my bag, and I have the one that goes around your neck in my backpack in case this one die, I have a backup, okay? Also in here, I have my pen. My twin does not like me carrying my pen loose like this, so I probably do need to move it into a pen holder, but y'all, it's the only pen I carry. And it's a top. You know, you take the top off. But she said, what if it pops? What if it pops? And I said, okay. Carmen Hawkins, I'm going to put it in a pencil pouch. I am. Matter of fact, I'm going to leave it out just because I don't want you getting on me. All right. And then in here, I have my gorgeous gingham hand cream. Okay. So that is all that I have in that pocket. I'm going to put those items back. Y'all know I can't move out. I'm doing the challenge. Okay. Over here in this side, I have some chapstick. Old school chapstick. I like that. Easily reachable items are in this pocket. Okay. And then I have my gift cards in this little sheen pouch. And I have some, these are gift cards on this side. And then on this side, I have foundation business cards. So that is giving me a double usage there. And that's easily to reach right there. Okay. So this bag has plenty of space. Can y'all see that? Where my hand is, there is space. If I needed to carry something else, I had room for it. So I do like that. That is that 7 inch of butt you have down there. So right here, easily reachable. I have my pepper spray. Um, you can purchase this on my Amazon storefront. So I have it where I can reach it fast if I need it. And then also I have my gum. Okay? Now, y'all, what y'all see? Y'all know lines. Right here I have my antibacterial wipes. And then I'm going to go to the side. So over here on this side, I'm unpacking this backwards, y'all. 
because this is the back of the bag that's why it feels awkward so let me put it that way but I have my small ring agenda y'all know I just shared with you my new planner setup so I am now in my Notique um, happy planner system so I do not carry this in my bag I carry this and if I need to write anything down I just transfer it over to my planner but since I've been in this I have not used it one time kind of crazy right so what I find is if I remember something I need to get from the grocery store I'm using the list on my phone the grocery list and I put it on the grocery list if I need to remember to do something as far as that doesn't have a time frame on it like sometime this week I need to go deposit a check sometime this week I need to pick up my meds I put that in my reminder list on my phone and it works for me the thing that doesn't work for me on my phone is if I have an appointment and it reminds me a day before and then it reminds me an hour before I'll forget or if I say call so-and-so at 10 o'clock if it reminds me 15 minutes before 10 at 9 45 I promise you I'll, I'll forget by 10 so I have to set those reminders and if I'm busy and I can't do it right then I typically forget it so those are the things that I'm putting in my agenda so that I can look at it daily and see what I need to do and just check it off this will be for anything that I just need to write down and move over to the planner that's what I created this for so now it's set up the same way and I showed you guys this same decor I didn't change anything y'all know this first page has a picture of my parents who are deceased and just when SB made me this for my in memory of my baby I will never get rid of it and if I do she'll have to make me another one and then it goes into this section which is just a month on two pages so that I can see the calendar and there's a blank one and I typically just put appointments birthdays trips in here and then behind that you can see right here is this note section I just have lined paper that's from Falifax can y'all see that and this is where I'm going to it's like a dumping ground just like I can dump everything here and just move it over if I find that I'm not using this guys I'm gonna take it out I haven't used it yet behind here I just have some pictures of me and hubby my grands and that's it so we're gonna see this may be coming out too but I'm gonna keep it in there because the minute I take it out I'm gonna need it so we'll go over here to this side I am utilizing this cutie right here this is a black laced pouch I don't remember where I got it from I don't know if I got it in love mail I want to say I got this in love mail I want to say I got this from just one SV I hope that's where I got it from but it's beautiful it has the flowers on it and y'all I just have my candy in there the zippers come all the way down to the side so typically all I have to do is unzip it a little bit and you can see my mints and my ginger is right in there so I thought that was pretty I'm using my hot pink mesh pouch for my cosmetics love it because you can see through it you see my NYX lip gloss right there my Milani that matte lip crayon right there you can see my manicure items right there my cuticle cutter tweezers fingernail clipper there's my little container with my vitamin E oil in it on this side you see my Chanel mirror there's my little container with the shea butter anyway let's see did I miss anything that is, oh and on the bottom you can see my lip liner and my eyeliner can y'all see that it's right there on the bottom so this is my makeup pouch this time okay and then I'm using just the Perel hand sanitizer this time because I'm going to be traveling. I thought that would just be great for me and hubby. I also have my black pouch. So guys, remember the pink pouch that I always have? This is the black one and it is housing my keys. These are the pouches that you can use for change, candy, those single Perel wipes whatever you want to use it for earrings jewelry you can use it this is housing my keys this time so as you can tell my color scheme is hot pink and black and here I have the matching wallet that I absolutely love this is called the continental wallet in the DB 75 print you have a gold label here with Dooney and Burt on it and you have a zipper on the back with the braided pull yeah I love this wallet opens like so 
has a snap closure. I did not turn anything over. Hold tight for me. Hold. So here you have the setup. So you have your cards here. You have your ID window here. You have a slot here that I put like insurance cards and things like that. And then you have another slot behind it that I have cash in. Down here, I just have my register. So I have three registers there. I have two in the back slip and then I have one here on the front. So this is how I use it. I love it because it's not thick. It's a thin wallet. I don't really like a thick wallet. My favorite is a zip around. But then this would be like the Addy wallet with Brahmin. Because it's thin. Y'all see? See how thin that is? Which makes for a great carry. And it doesn't take up a lot of space in your bag. Okay? And then that brings me to my beauty. I have shared this before on my channel. This is my hot pink YSL cosmetic pouch that my girl Mono's Beauty gifted me with. I love this. It's a square shaped cube, y'all. I love it because it holds so much. So here is my catch all and immediately my correction tape is falling out. But let me let y'all see the carry. Can y'all see that? Very nice. I'm not going to take everything out. But I will tell you, I have my two pouches right here. Y'all know those are standard in my bag. One of these have, what does it have? Um, panty liners. This one has panty liners, um, feminine wipes, eyeglass wipes, and Q-tips over here. This pouch right here is housing some extra contact lens, extra nose rings, extra meds in case I forget to take them in the morning, and more eyeglass wipes. In this corner over here, I have my bathroom spray right there. Two um, glue sticks right here. Kiss glue for nails. Um, I have my lash extensions back on. So these are tools that I use for them. They're spoolies and the cleaners. So when I wake up in the morning and I need to clean, look out my eyes or whatever, I have the cleaners in there and spoolies in case I need to use them. And I just put them in a little Ziploc bag. I have my Tums in there, my extra meds in there. I'm also carrying my nail brush because I am wearing my nails longer. And so I use this, I keep it with me in case I need to clean my nails underneath. I have my soap sheets in there, my nail sporin, oil blotting sheets, um, inhaler. My eye walk is right here. My portable charger is right there. And I think that's it. Oh, and my whippet stick is on the bottom. Y'all know the little thing I use to remove stains off my clothes while I'm out. And that is everything in this catch-all, y'all. I love it. The zipper is hot pink. The material, the fabric is hot pink. I love it. That hot pink and gold is popping. And it's made out of like, I don't know what this material is. It's not, um, I don't know what this is called. Can't even think. I want to say patent leather, but it's it's kind of like that feel. You see that shine, that little sheen that comes on it. I love it. Okay, and that is it. You do have your key keeper in here. I'm not using it, and I do have my citrine stone in here as well. Okay, so here are the pockets that's on this side. Remember, you don't have a zipper pocket, but in here I have the registration card and the tag for the bag. And there is a tag in case you're interested. Okay. Then I have, y'all know, this is quick grab stuff. So I have my eyeglass wipes in here. I have my charms that I always keep close by. Y'all are very familiar with that if y'all watch my channel. This one is starting to turn, y'all. This is that mother-daughter charm that I got from um, Timu. And it's starting to tarnish a little bit right in there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to see if I can clean it up. But I love that. Oops. Then I have my um, bag charm. For my bag sisters. And then you know I always have a J somewhere. Okay. And let me see. I have you know my safety tool. Is here. And then I have the pouch. That has Jayla's strand of hair. My strand of hair and the press on them. And then I have more eyeglass wipes. And the Dollar Tree flashlight. And that is it for that. So let me slide these things back in there. 
that pocket holds a lot i just don't have a lot in there i am trying my best to downsize so that i don't carry a lot and it's really working so i guess that's a good thing all right so there are the charms and then in this flap right here which is underneath this flap y'all see that right there i just have my money holder and that's it in that pocket my money holder is housing my dollar bills and my fives because I save all my ones and my fives for my um, challenge and I put it in my sinking funds booklet. Okay, that's it y'all. That is it. I love it. I'm enjoying it. I have to go out today, but I already know this is going to be a great carry. So what I will do so that you guys know I'm still in it. To win it, <laughs> I will post, or I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna do a video every time I change my items. I don't, I don't know. I may do a community post, and I, I don't know. I don't know which way to go with that. So I might do a. If I don't do a video, I will do a community post showing you all everything that I'm carrying when I change the color. Can't see it. But you know me. I'm going to always put a picture over here to the side. So you can see it. Guys, can you tell I tweak my settings on my camera? I really think it's showing true to color. I'll put it, When I put the picture over here to the side, you let me know. Because you'll be able to see it in picture form. But yeah, I think I have tweaked it to get it right. Just like I like it. Now I hope it stays right here. And doesn't change. But this is my setup. And I don't know. I, I said I was going to carry each setup for a week. But if it's a comfortable carry and I haven't gotten bored with it or anything like that. Let me move this up. It's not doing right. And I haven't gotten bored with it. Then I may stay in it longer. We'll see. Again, y'all, this is a true challenge for me. Let me do it like that. True, true challenge for me. Because I don't stay in nothing 30 days. Nothing 30 days. Okay? But I used to. That's crazy, right? But we're going to try it and see how it goes. So hot pink it is for the next week or so. Okay? Alright guys. Until the next video. Be determined to be the best you you can be. And guys, we'll see you the next time. Have a great one.